Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary. Happy Felon Friday. We are definitely almost there. More news on that shortly. I'm here with this week's edition of Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. Hang in there. We're almost there. I was right. Let's hop right in. So check this out. This is the new lineup for the new season of Love During Lockup, which is premiering on July 21st. I was right about the date all along, guys. I said I estimated it to be on July 21st, and I was right. So I'm going to give myself a pat on the shoulder. Yes, I was right. So this is the new lineup. Go check it out. I have the trailer on the Kiki and Kibitz Instagram and on the Kiki and Kibitz Twitter. I would share it here, but I would get a copyright violation from WeTV. So boo to WeTV. So go check it out on our Instagram and our Twitter. I have it on there. It looks really exciting. I cannot wait. I am in Felon Friday withdrawals over time. So check it out. This is the new lineup, okay? Six couples, July 21st, Felon Friday. And you know where you guys will be every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. West Coast time, live with me and a special co-host, okay? And I will announce who my first co-host will be because I got to think about this and make some phone calls and go through my little Rolodex, you know, and figure out who I'm going to get as my co-host. So stay tuned for that. So if you guys have been watching me and reading my articles on wordonthestreetreality.com, you've already met two of the couples, Mr. and Mr. Collier and Mr. and Mr. Chips. So we have more tea on the couples. So right after you watch me, go over to Instagram and check out Mary Pants's post because we have more tea on these couples. And July 21st, Felon Friday begins all over again. And I cannot wait. So, hey, check it out, guys. Now, Mr. Collier. Little Mike, Keith, he has his own Instagram. I'm sure it's run by Mrs. Collier, but he posted today some pictures. And Mrs. Collier, boss babe, she's an accountant. She has her own tax business, okay? And she does credit repair. She does credit advising for credit repair, apparently. Um, This is her daughter. And she did a Father's Day um, tribute to her husband being a stepdad in her daughter's life. And Jada, the other couple, Jada and Chris, paid a Father's Day tribute to her father-in-law. And I'm not sure if Chris has any children. I heard a rumor that part of Chris and Jada's storyline might be some baby mama drama. Not sure if this is what it is, but this is Chris's dad. Happy Father's Day. And Jada is hanging out with her sister on the beach. And July 21st, we shall see what their drama is. Because you know there has to be drama. So... This is the new lineup, guys. Cannot wait until July 21st. And you know, every Saturday after that, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. West Coast time, I'll be here doing a recap with a co-host. Tune in to see who it will be. Now, for last season, Life After Lockup cast members, we have Eris playing... Uh, paying tribute to two special men in her life, her daddy and her husband. 
and she acknowledges that she and Cam are funny AF as parents, okay? But one thing I disagree with you on, Eris, okay? You do not have a big prego face. You have a beautiful, glowing, maybe hot AF, okay? One thing I, I think you look hot AF, but you are not big, okay? You are beautiful, pregnant, and glowing. And then we have Cam. He's doing his music and he is in the zone. Justine pays Father's Day tribute to her husband. And they recently closed on their house in Vegas. Congratulations to Mike and Justine on closing on your house. And I'm glad that Mike's credit repair counseling business is doing well. You know, Leticia Collier from the upcoming season of Love During Lockup is an accountant. Um, apparently, she has many years of, you know, doing taxes, accounting, things of that sort. Does this credit counseling, credit repair business. And then we have Mike, a.k.a. Montana, Montana Mills, the rapper, also doing credit repair. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But speaking of Montana Mills, the rapper, his manager, Mocha, a.k.a. Lydell Birch, Mocha, and his board that he needs to further his music career, that turns out to be a scam as well. You know, this board... That costs over $100,000. You know, Mocha posted to his Instagram. It's his dream controller. And he was going to join it with another controller that apparently costs over $50,000. Well, it turns out that it was just another part of his scam. And he had three, three or four different women sending him money including this $2,500. Mocha, mocha, mocha. When are you going to stop scamming women? And then when one of them tried to confront him on social media, he deleted he deleted the comments. But Mike is all aboard for it. He's all aboard for this new controller to make music on this new controller. But Mocha, do you actually own it? Did you actually buy it? And if you did, how did you pay for it? You know, he's really good at word salad. He posts all these stories about glory to the goddess and, you know, being saved. But Mocha, I just have one question. Do you leave this message for all of your women? Hey, babe, this is Mocha. Well, I want to let you know I miss you and hope to hear from you soon, okay? Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I don't know, Mocha. I think you need to stop scamming women and figure out a way to, to make your dreams come true on your own. Make your own money. You're 40-something years old which is a couple of, you know, a couple of years apart. I think we're five or six years apart. Just saying, Mocha, just saying. Guys, please check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com for all the details. I spoke to some more women that were scammed out of some money from Mocha, um, including two women that were in a relationship with him during the same time period that he was in a relationship with Bree. The woman that um, owned the house where the um, incident occurred, that he shot the man live on YouTube when he was doing the interview. Please check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com for more. Now, moving on to Monique and Devitt shenanigans. If you haven't checked out my interview with Blasian, 
Blation is Derek's baby mama. Derek's alleged baby mama. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to try to keep this section as short as possible because it is messy, messy, messy. So since I interviewed Blasian, a whole bunch of messes happened and Blasian posted her pregnancy test to prove to everyone that she was actually pregnant. Then she wished Derek a happy Father's Day, which caused Elizabeth, who has been flashing money all over the place, um, to go live and basically say that Derek is not going to be a father because she knows that all the men in her family shoot shoot blanks. Yes, you heard me correctly. Elizabeth said that she knew for a fact that all the men in her family shoot blanks. Then Elizabeth posted this statement, as you see in the middle, which basically... I took as she doesn't know what goes on in Derek's sex life. She doesn't care what goes on in Derek's sex life. She is tired of everybody's asking her what does she think about what's going on in Derek's sex life and whether, you know, this baby is his, baby's not his. She doesn't know. She doesn't care. She's making money. Sign up for this app so she can make more money. And that's all she cares about. Okay. That's what I took this as, and that's Elizabeth's official statement. So now, Monique apparently decided to insert herself. Monique, the same Monique who about a week, two weeks ago or so, was publishing text messages, DMs from a guy named Juan, and Monique who was saying that Deborah was gay and all this other messy, messy stuff has decided to insert herself into the situation and say that um, Derek, first Derek didn't know her or that Derek was only with her for her trust fund, all this messy, messy, messy stuff. So Blazin, after arguing with Monique over social media, on her live, on other channels, on it was just a whole bunch of arguing, this is what Blasian decided to post. And this last story cracked me up so hard. I'm sorry. I know I'm horrible. I shouldn't laugh, but I did. And I'm going to admit it. And I did. So yes, this is what Blasian posted after her and Monique were arguing for a couple of days. And honestly, I don't see what this whole situation has to do with Monique. Because a week ago, she was blasting Derek for being gay, bisexual, whatever the case may be. I don't know. Messy, messy, messy. I want to move on to Mason. But look at Mason. He is adorable. He is seven months old. Let's grab those cheeks. Let's celebrate how adorable Mason is. And happy Father's Day to to chance. Let's move on to positive things and throw the mess away. Happy Father's Day, Chance. Mason is adorable. He is seven months old, and I just want to squeeze those cheeks. And Bobby's in love. And if Scotty does her wrong, he's going to have to deal with me. And I love that Bobby's in love. And this is a positive thing. And speaking of other positive things, Lindsay's hanging out with her dog and giving blood. Blood is the gift of life. A lot of people forget this. You know, there's a lot of blood shortages in places. I would give blood, but unfortunately, I take a bunch of medications and I cannot. So Lindsay is reminding people, blood is the gift of life. And if you can, donate. Now, last week, Earlier in the week, I talked about this exclusive love, love after lockup. Where are you now? Show that's coming up. Not sure if it's going to be a whole show or just those 15 minute segments that they used to do back in the day, but they are definitely doing updates with old cast members. Santiba basically announced it 
Check this out. Just a fun question for all of y'all. How would you like to see me on the best television network, WeTV again? Just wondering. Hmm. Just wondering what she's referring to. And my birdies are chirping really loudly that we will see the finished product of what's going on with Jessica. So they are definitely updating with cast members. Check this out. Dalton has been released and Haley and Dalton have reunited. And this is her answer to all of the haters. Guess what? They are updating with Haley and Dalton. And she is so happy. She doesn't care what the haters think. And she wants everyone to know that he is the best stepdad to Hendrix ever. Okay, guys? They are filming an update. And she wants everyone to know that even though that she had a girlfriend a couple of weeks ago, Dalton is back in her life. And he is the best stepdad ever. And she is so happy. Okay, guys? And... Based on increased social media activity, do not quote me on it, but I believe we will, we will be seeing updates with the lovely Ty and Indy with or without Deontay. Don't quote me on it. Don't know. And Tiffany, considering the increase in her social media activity, I think it's highly likely we are going to see an update with Tiffany. And I hope that she is not sticking her finger up her man's nose. And for some reason, I think we're going to see an update with Skylar, maybe. I mean, there's an increase in their social media activity. Now, I need to pull out my mic for this because we need to congratulate them. This is really, really good, positive news. I mean, with all the messy stuff going on in Love After Lockup land, we need to congratulate them. Congratulations. Javel and Quaylon are getting married. <laughs> So, Quaylon and Chevelle are engaged, and we'll be hearing about that during their update. And um, Quaylon is chasing, pa chasing the paper, which he needs to be chasing the paper. He's getting married. Happy Father's Day to Jessica's dad, who has stepped in because we all know Maurice is a fuck up. Now, you know, it wouldn't be word on the street, unfortunately, without a little bit of Dylan and Heather lately. Now, Dylan, who, you know, he's, you know, he's been working and modeling and doing all this I'm going to stay stuff online. He had a meltdown. Okay. I have to show you guys this. Hold on. Check this out. Total meltdown. Dylan totally melted down. Check this out. Okay. Please, just keep it real, not social media. If the car you're driving isn't yours, if the place you live isn't yours and you can't even afford to pay the rent, if you say that vehicle is yours but you can't be afford to pay the note, if you claim to be a good guy but do bad things to good people, bro, wrap it up. At the end of the day, if it don't come out in the wash, it come out in the rinse, for real. The funniest part to me is at the end of the day, everybody, you wanna be like, oh my God, wait, no, it's not like that. Uh, bro, I love you, I respect you. Like, let's be friends. I, oh, no, you can trust me, trust me. Guys, would you knock it off? Just be real, be real. And it's like Drake said, you ain't a real model unless you've been in vogue or unless it's paying your bills. But that's not the case because that'd be me and whoever those other dudes are are probably checking in. But uh, must not be too much or else I wouldn't be paying for it or else you wouldn't have been driving that uh, bus down.
whatever it was. And make this make sense. Somebody, please, 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 please. Like please. Melting down, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I do not know what happened with him and Marissa, his girlfriend. But he wants to know if the new thing talking behind someone's back was smiling in his face. And he's surprised that their cheeks aren't sore. And he's tagging his girlfriend and like these three other guys. And he just had like this meltdown. And it was like, what the heck is going on? Because like meltdowns are usually reserved for Heather. As you can see here in her ballerina wear, prancing through the parks of Chicago. Like Dylan, what is happening, dude? So guys, I also did an article on wordonthestreetreality.com with a bust, bunch of arrest updates, okay? From Michael Simmons to um, Nicole. If you guys want to know what's going on with Lisa McGraw, please check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com and a little crossover action. Molly Hopkins from 90 Day Fiance Land is dating a prison kingpin. Her new boo just came out after doing 12 years for drug trafficking, drug dealing, all sorts of stuff, guys. Please check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com for the tea. And we have Garrett, who I have DM'd a couple of times for an interview. So Garrett, if you're listening to me, please check your messages because I would love to interview you. Season one, episode one, I remember the minute you walked out of that jail and Joanna was like, hmm. Okay, so please, I would love to interview you. I see what's going on in your life now. And I would just like to get an update for the fans. We have Glorietta with New Banks, and we have Lizzie on a duck ride, being silly, just enjoying life. Tia on vacation. It's good to see Tia enjoying life. And I love, love, love these nails, Emily. I need to get my nails done in the worst way, and you are inspiring me with a color. This week, we celebrated Juneteenth. June is Pride Month. Guys, please, if you're on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I'm attempting to keep up the account there. Please check out my fan bases page. I'm offering a bunch of fan experiences, plus a chance for you guys to co-host with me. So please check out my fan bases page. And Queen, who is everyone's backbone. She's the backbone for Amber and Puppy. She is the backbone in her family. Is still, you know, she needs help. If you guys could help her, we're still doing a GoFundMe. Her sister is terminal, terminally ill with stage four breast cancer. And she just needs help with, you know, um, helping her sister with, day to day day to day costs and things like that check out the gofundme if you want more um information you can hit me up and another thing that i wanted to share with you guys i will always be team amber and jailbird clothing i hope you guys could see this probably not because of my background but amber sent me some of her t-shirts and this is the first one I want you guys to see. Jailbird clothing. I'm sticking my boobs into the camera, literally. And there's another one that says Team Amber that literally has her face on it. And I'm going to wear it for the next video. So I'm hanging on like Stan until July 21st for the next season of Love During Lockup. Because I am 
definitely and felon friday withdrawal oh my goodness i don't know what to do with myself on friday nights and i miss you guys so much saturday my saturday night lives i miss you guys trust me we'll be back soon so i just wanted to close out with a little reminder that unfortunately people who bite the hand that feeds them usually lick the boot that kicks them don't know why but it turns out that way sometimes but it's okay Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Please check out wordonthestreetreality.com for all the tea you want. And please share my video with a friend or 10. July 21st, Felon Fridays are back. I'm so, so excited. Please check out the trailer on my um, Instagram, on Twitter. Mary Pants has the tea on the rest of the cast. Go check out her post. And thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.